or beautiful tables like this one over here that includes graphics that represent some of the data in the columns and beautiful headings and themes, then watch this video. We're gonna talk about GT Extra. It's a lovely package and you are going to love it. Let's do this, boom shakalaka. On this YouTube channel, we're creating our programming videos on everything. Welcome back, my name is Greg Martin. Today we're talking about GT Extra. This is a package that helps you create beautiful tables, right? It's got a lot of functionality. We're not gonna get into all of that today, but we're gonna look at two examples. As always, the examples that I use Use data that's built into R. So we're going to look at the Iris and the empty cars data sets. You've got those data sets on your computer right now, so you can replicate what I'm doing at home. That's the best way to learn. So we use the library function to call GT Extra, and of course the library function to call the Tidyverse. That's the collection of packages that makes R such a beautiful place to work within. I'm not going to get into that in this video. Right, we're starting off with Iris. Iris is a data set that you've got on your computer at the moment. I pipe that into GT Plot Summary. You could, of course just have used the function GT plot summary inside the brackets put in as the first argument or the, the only argument that you need in this case, iris, which is the data set. Either way is fine. And of course, if we run that line of code, boom shakalaka, a lovely summary of your data set. What I like about this is that you don't need to think about it. It does everything for you. It's got a distribution of your data. It's got means, uh, standard deviations, medians, et cetera, et cetera. What I really like is that it includes the percentage of missing values in that particular variable. Now in this data set, there are no missing values, so everything's a zero. But in most data sets, there are missing values and it's really useful to know what's missing and how complete your data set is. So this is a nice snapshot of your data set. Absolutely love it, let's move on. Now I'm gonna talk about how to insert icons or graphics into your column so that the cell doesn't have a number in it, but rather has some sort of graphical representation of the data. It's a lovely feature, you're gonna absolutely love this. I'm also gonna just talk about some themes that you can use, uh, and I'm just gonna use one as an example, but there's lots of them. Let's look at the MT cars data set. In fact, before we carry on, let's just view MT cars. Right, this is a data set, we've got cars. Now, what's important in this particular data set is we've got miles per gallon as, the, as one of the variables, and cylinders, number of cylinders that the cars have as another variable, and we're gonna use those two to create a little summary table. So let's look at this code, I'm gonna remove that view from there we start with empty cars we pipe that into group by cylinder so in our summary table our rows are going to be the number of cylinders and then summarize we're going to create a column called median create a column called mean and we're going to create a column called distribution now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a little line here and i'm going to say view so before we pipe that into the rest of the code i want to have a look at that so, and we can talk that through so that you understand what is being piped into the gt function and then that'll all make perfect sense once I've done that. So let's have a look at what's created at this point. Here's the little summary table that gets produced. And of course we understand how we got here. We've got cylinders is what is what we grouped by. We created variables or columns called median, uh, mean and distribution. Distribution isn't a value, but rather a whole lot of values. And in actual fact, it's all the values of the miles per gallon for that particular cylinder. So let's look at the code to see how we got that, and then we're gonna run the rest of the code to see how we can create our table. So just looking a little bit more closely at the code here, our median variable is, we've said uh, median of miles per gallon, and we've wrapped around that round comma one, just for one, so we've rounded it off to one decimal place. We've done the same thing with mean, and then for distribution, we've said list. So we want, inside that cell is a list. It's not a value, but rather a list and it's all of the miles per gallon values, okay? So you can see how we got there. Now I'm gonna remove this view here. And so now what we're doing is we're piping that table into GT, that's gonna create a table. And then we've got GT plot distribution, or dist, that's what that stands for. And then we've put inside the brackets, the argument is distribution, and that distribution R knows that we've created a variable called distribution. That, that variable is in fact this data object is, each cell is a list, and it's gonna use that to create a visual distribution of that data. Then we're piping that into GT Themes Guardian, that's the, that's the look that it's gonna give you, and there are lots of different themes, you can, you can choose from any of them, we're gonna just look at Guardian now, and then there's the header, we use tab, header, title, blah, blah. So let's run that and see what happens. And voila, a lovely table, and you can see the distribution column here doesn't have a number in, but rather a little icon or graphic that represents the distribution of the miles per gallon for, for that particular cylinder. And because it's a list, it's a whole lot of values, it can produce a distribution visually. I think this is absolutely beautiful. You should use this all the time. There are other 
packages that you can use to create tables. I'm going to look at some of those soon. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, watch another video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't before, comment, like, share, etc. etc. Thanks for watching. Don't ever change, don't do drugs. Always do your best. Boom shakalaka. Speak to you soon. Bye.